One aspect of quality measurement in healthcare that's gotten a lot of attention focuses on processes of care. These are process measures, we say, or process measurement. Let's look at process measures for a few minutes. The core idea here is that if you have an outcome in mind that you want to achieve, then you can work to identify some processes that would lead to that outcome or at least make it more likely. Perhaps the steps that should be taken every time in the care of a patient with a given condition. Then you design measurement around those things, those processes, to track things like whether they're occurring and how often. The processes being measured can incorporate different aspects of care. Sometimes people distinguish between technical processes, the specific treatments being done and the way they're being done, and interpersonal processes that emphasize relationships between providers and patients. And of course, there can be lots of variations in the processes that are important from one health condition or setting to the next. One really common way of approaching process measurement that you're sure to see out there if you look focuses on measuring whether generally accepted recommendations for clinical practice are being followed. This would commonly involve specifying a population of people or patients of interest, then specifying a particular treatment or procedure for which there's evidence of benefits based on research or other things like professional opinions, and then creating a method to measure and track the share of the population that gets the recommended service. For example, there are recommendations about the use of cancer screening tools in some populations. Women fitting some age and health profiles should get a mammogram from time to time, for example. Or people meeting some age and health profiles should get colorectal cancer screening. One can define those populations and then query databases or use other tools and methods to see if people in these groups are getting the recommended care or not. There can also be measures focused on people with particular health conditions. For example, it can be recommended that people diagnosed with diabetes get their blood sugar tested regularly and controlled. One can go gather data and assess whether that's happening. Or for patients with cardiovascular disease and diabetes, are they using statin drugs appropriately to control their cholesterol levels? Do people get appropriate follow-up after a hospitalization for mental illness? All of those would be process measures. A variant here is measuring care that should not be delivered, situations where evidence says not to do a particular type of procedure. For example, there are recommendations not to use antibiotic drugs in some circumstances. One can go assess whether or how often that's getting done anyway. There are many examples of process measures focusing on the delivery of specific services that people have developed. Hundreds, in fact. Process measures can be created for different types of organizations. For example, one might create process measures for a health plan, How often do its members receive recommended care? Or one could do it for medical practices or hospitals. One could also do this for populations or areas, groups of patients. There are a variety of sources of information for process measures. Often EMRs or claims databases can be used to identify patients and track whether they get recommended care or not. And there are registries that are sometimes used. Most commonly, registries are databases that try to collect and compile relevant information about all or at least many patients with a given condition or patients receiving a particular treatment, often for the purposes of having a resource for monitoring and improving quality. There are registries of patients with particular types of cancer, for example, or registries of patients receiving some kinds of joint surgery like hip replacement. Beyond EMRs and claims and registries, people might use other tools as well, like surveys when constructing process measures. So there's a bit about process measures, a very common and important quality measurement tool in healthcare.